This key's identical to the one the headmaster used in his office. Let's go there now. The girl has the key. Let's get her to the surface. Head back to the... We gotta make our way back to the headmaster's office and see what's what we can do there. I doubt we can actually leave, and we might not even be able to get back to the headmaster's office. It may redirect us. And I should really be looking around these corners. Looks like the ra laser grid is relatively off for how we left it. I think this is the door we came in. It's quiet tonight. Scouting ahead, seeing where this, I think this leads back up to the main room, right? Please don't crash. I don't see a guard out there, so let's go back to the host. Not far from his office, that's good. Just gotta cut back through the museum.
And we're back in the headmaster's office. Now what's gonna happen when we click this door? It's not gonna be that simple. Derringer and the headmaster went this way to the surface. Level five door. Okay, I don't think I want to go down. There's an elevator on the other side of the atrium. It's probably the girl's best chance for getting to the surface. Yeah, that's where I'm headed. Oh, that's probably where the statues are. Second episode, of course, you're going to get out now. The top, the surface. I mean, I, I'm not trying to do this for you. No. Oh, stop it. Can you do something here? Sure. Oh, God. I've been looking for you. This concludes episode two. Wow, that was... I didn't think I was that close to finishing it. Citizens of Metamorphosis. Words. Fail me tonight. I cannot rightfully describe the bleak, chasmal longing that echoes through my heart. Our beloved Librarian, Senor Luis Octavo, has passed away. Derringer paid him a visit earlier this evening, hoping to discuss his exciting new role as cultural attaché. Instead, he found the Senor lying prone on his office floor, his heart failing. Ever valiant, Derringer sprang into action. He tried desperately to save the poor man. Mm. Sadly, it was too late. The librarian succumbed to the great unknown, cradled in Derringer's arms. But in a final act of appreciation, his words, it, <clears throat> his, <clears throat> I'm sorry. His last words, as he looked up at Derringer, were, Thank you. <laughs> as I'm sure has been reported, Senor Octavo and I did not always see eye to eye. Still, I made it a point to listen to his thoughtful and honest assessments of our fair republic. <laughs> he was especially critical of our prized surveillance infrastructure. I regret that I wasn't ever able to persuade him of its importance. 
I learned at an early age to never speak ill of the dead. I must hold my tongue now. But I will say this, for it pains me too greatly to keep it to myself. Had our security been more robust, Luis Octavo would still be alive. A camera is an asset to our superior way of life. But what use is a camera without a good pair of eyes to monitor the feed? Had someone seen the librarian collapse, they could have reached him in time. I am confident the arrival will help improve security in the future and thus assure us greater safety going forward. Thank you for listening. And good night, librarian. We mourn your loss, but we celebrate your life with an equal passion. Fucking bastard.